Hello, my name is Peter Baldwinson and I'm a tour leader at our beautiful cathedral. I'm happy to be talking to you today about symbolism in the fabric of our Gothic revival style building. The Gothic style of, of architecture evolved from the Romanesque style, which is recognisable from the use of rounded semicircular arches and other openings. The Gothic period in architecture was from the early 12th century to the early 16th century. The Gothic revival period began in the 18th century and was popular for most of the 19th century, mainly in England, France, Germany and Australia. The distinctive visual element in Gothic design is in the use of verticality. This is emphasised internally in the way the building form has greater width at floor level. The nave is in the middle, delineated by columns and arches. The side aisles on the side of the columns adds to the width of the um, ground floor level. The walls above the arches make the space narrower, emphasising the verticality. The pointed curved arches add to the verticality element. The most striking use of verticality is externally in the form of spires and pinnacles. Our, style, our spires dominate the front facade and the pinnacles on top of the towers add to this dominance. In our cathedral, the lantern is another vertical element. It provides light onto the crossing near the sanctuary. The symbolism with verticality is it represents pointing to heaven and directing our prayers up to God. Now for examples of symbolism in two significant items of furniture. There is symbolism in having the font located near the main entrance in the liturgical west. The font is used for ministering the sacrament of baptism where our journey as a Christian begins. We enter out of the darkness and move towards the light at the high altar in the liturgical east. The journey progresses to confirmation and the receiving of Holy Communion at the high altar in the sanctuary at the far end of the cathedral. Cathedrals are designed for processions down the long aisle, a lovely reminder of the journey from darkness to light. I need to point out that at St Peter's, our liturgical west front actually faces east. The symbolism of the lectern is in the, in the use of the shape of an eagle. The eagle is standing at the top of the pillar with wings outstretched seemingly about to fly off. The book from which, which the scriptures are read is placed on the wings. The eagle was considered to be a bird which soared highest in the sky and able to fly long distances. The symbolism is that it can spread the word of God far and wide. Thank you for listening.